I flashed the Ubuntu installer onto this USB drive. So now I'm going to take my Nook and in the back I'll plug in this installer USB. I'll plug it into power. Plug the HDMI that goes into my TV into the port. Also plug in a mouse so I can mouse around on the computer and plug in a USB keyboard. Later on, we will set up SSH so I don't need any peripherals or anything to connect, but I'm gonna plug into a screen so I can see what's going on to begin with. I see a startup screen and then the Ubuntu recovery wizard. So Ubuntu creates a recovery partition on the hard drive first before actually installing the operating system. I'm gonna click yes, and this will take a while, so I'll fast forward. So the recovery partition installation has completed, and now I'm gonna Remove the USB from the Nook and then restart the computer, which will cue the actual operating system install. All right, and now we see the operating system actually being installed. And look, that guy right there. That is the Xenial Zeris, which is a African land squirrel that this Ubuntu version is named after. Um, and this will take a little while, so I'm gonna fast forward through the copying of the operating system files onto the file system. Nice. So the system rebooted itself and gathering from that music video, I assume that the operating system is installed and complete. So I'm given a system configuration wizard. I'll pick English as my language. I do want to connect to my network. LES is less. And if you ever want to come over, Pizza Slice is my Wi-Fi password. And it looks like, yeah, uh, connected to the network. So let's continue. I am in New York. And I'll use English as my keyboard layout. And my name is Eric Lewis. My computer's name will be Eric Nook da da da. Works for me. My username will be Eric and I'll add a password in and I will require password to log in. And do I want to create Ubuntu recovery media? No, if I want to restore my system we could just flash another card with etcher like we did before so this is going to run through a system configuration and i'll fast forward through this too because this could take a minute and i land at the login screen so i'll log into my user account i like the ubuntu desktop background it's like the color palette from a sci-fi movie from 
2015. So although I'm going to be running a web server on my computer, I like to put a desktop environment on it in case I just want to log into it and go through the computer with a desktop rather than just the terminal in case of whatever. I don't know. Desktops are just nice environments to be in. If you just wanted to install Ubuntu on your computer and use it to surf the web and like edit files, then you could stop and have a well-working computer. We're obviously going to go further, but this is a great step to be at.